Thanks, Matt. Well, we have some good news and some bad news. The good news is that that list is not very long. The bad news starts with Monmouth. Diego Zubieta suffered a lower body injury in the offseason, and he's been working through that. Not quite sure when he's going to be back. Definitely won't be on the field today. Probably not the next game, so that's a tough loss for Monmouth. And for Hampton, Shai McKenzie will not be on the field today. He was probable coming into this game. Another lower body injury. Back to you guys. Matt Harmon, Eddie Acapinti, start of the second quarter. We check in with the third member of our crew, Susie Milano. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we got to bring up this defensive line for Hampton again because the story is just so incredible. Back in December when Coach Prunty took over this program, they only had four defensive linemen. Today, they have 20. Two. Coach Prunty worked his recruiting magic and got 18 new guys out here on the field today. Now, he mentioned to us in a phone call earlier this week the importance of keeping the relationship with coaches at any level, if it's college, if it's high school, because you never know where your players are going to come from. Not only did he recruit an incredible amount of players, but an in incredible players. Last game versus Shaw, he gave the defensive line as a whole player of the game. For Monmouth, Coach Callahan told me that obviously they started a little bit slow, but he did like the way they were able to put their heads down and battle back in this. He said the offense and the defense are complementing each other really well, and if they keep that up in the second half, they should be good to go. And for Hampton, Coach Prunty told me that, of course, he loved the way that they started, but he knew this was the game that they were going to get for Monmouth. They knew coming into this one that it was going to be a playoff-style game. So what he needs in the second half is for his defense to keep working as hard as they've been working all game. Guys? Coach, incredible game today. You told me at halftime you thought you did start a little bit slow, but that changed really quickly. 42 unanswered points at one point here in this game. What clicked for you guys? Well, I think we got on a roll offensively. We hit some uh, big pass, pass plays, some explosive plays, and then Pete was able to pop a couple of wrong, long runs. And at the same time, we were getting some stops and getting off the field on defense. So I think we played off each other from an offensive defensive standpoint. And, you know, it's still early in the season. There's an awful lot from my standpoint that we need to do better in areas where we need to improve. Uh, but it's a good start. It's great to get this first win at home. And an incredible game for Kenji, an awesome game for Pete Guerrero. Jake Powell, two touchdowns for him. What is all of this? The list goes on and on. What does this say about this squad? Well, I think what it says is that uh, on offense, we have a lot of different playmakers, a lot of people who can put the ball, put points on the board and get the ball in the end zone for us. And I think that's going to make us difficult to defend uh, the more widespread and, uh, diversity we have in terms of who gets the ball on offense. Thanks so much, Coach. Thank you. All right, we're going to chat now with the hardy star of the game, Kenji Bahar. Congratulations, Kenji. Outstanding game for you. A new career record for you in passing. What was working out there? Hey, just our receivers getting open. Uh, they showed a lot of man-to-man -man defense out there, and we had great receivers like Jake Powell and Reggie White, of course, going out there and making plays for me. And you guys were looking for your first win this season, but also to keep that streak alive here at home, which you guys did. How good did it feel to just be here on your home turf, playing out here with your teammates, doing what you do best? Hey, I mean, it's always good to play in front of your home crowd, and it's always good to get the win, and we still undefeated at Kessler Stadium, so that's always good. Thanks so much, Kenji. Thank you. Back to you guys.